Welcome to a fun and challenging session using knots and strings to make zip lines. This is fantastic fun outside or inside and it requires dexterity, concentration and it's immense amounts of fun making real micro zip lines to transport your favourite creatures from one tree to another or off the staircase at home down to a chair or piece of furniture. We're hoping to send some of our favourite little people across a stream in some of our homemade tubs. For these games, we're using string. It can be any old string, household string, stuff you've got lying around the house. I happen to have some really fancy, fun coloured strings, so we're very lucky here. What can you use at home? Have you got some rope or string in the garden, in the shed, in the house? What can you use? The first thing we need to do is practice a few simple knots. We're going to start with the easiest knot in the book, an overhand knot on a single piece of string. Okay, girls, would one of you like to start a single piece of yellow string? Very good. Lovely job. Could you undo your knot now? Lovely, and could you tie it again for us? Lovely, very nice. Lucy, could you undo your knot and now tie it at one end? Ooh, very nice. We're now looking at tidying our strings up. So we're going to fold our string in half and tie the same overhand knot in the double. So Lucy takes one double end, passes it around, tucks it through and pulls tight. Lovely knot. Good. Emily, would you like to fold your string in half and see if you can tie an overhand knot on your double piece of string? Lovely. That is an excellent looking knot. And I see you've made a loop in the end. I have a feeling this loop is going to come in handy later. Well done. We have our overhand knot sorted. We can tie it on the single piece of string and we can fold it over and tie it on the double piece of string. We're now going to practice making an anchor. Not a sea anchor or a ship's anchor, but an anchor, which is the name of tying a piece of string to something solid. Which knot are we going to use to tie the string to the tree? Be aware, it's vital you can undo the knot after you've used it. Otherwise, we'll have to get the scissors out and waste every bit of string we have. And I don't want to do that. So we're going to use one of the best knots in the book, a round turn and two half hitches. Here it is. Okay, girls, take it away. Let's see what you can do. So we're going to tie the short end, wrap it once all the way around the branch. And now Lucy's tucking the short end behind the long side once. And here comes the second one. Pull tight. Job done. Lovely one. And Emily, at the same time, you've also done a round turn and two half hitches, although when we pulled it, your second half hitch came out. So we'll practice that some more. Good start, girls. Well done. So we're now building our first couple of zip lines and the girls have chosen to go one above the other, which will enable them to do a zip line from one person to the other. Perhaps we'll be able to transport some of our favourite toys or snacks from one zip line to the other. Now, Emily, you've attempted your first anchor. How do you think it's gone? I think it's gone very well. It's good. So the girls are working this out as they go for themselves. Wow. Now we've got a challenge on our hands here. How do we tie the string off and keep it tight? And we've got a few different ways we can do this. So let's look at that now. We've threaded a little pulley wheel onto the string here. Can you see that in the camera? Well done. 
And now we're looking at how to tie the bottom of our string off and keep it tight. So here's one way of doing it. Pull it tight, wrap the short end once around the tree. That's your one full turn. And now the two half hitches, cross the short end over the long side and tuck it up through the hole once and short end over the long side, tuck it up through the hole, pull it twice. And there's our one round turn and two half hitches and it stayed tight. So here we have a very nice system set up and ready. Emily's tied her blue string from tree to tree. Both knots are a round turn and two half hitches. And then we've got a lovely little mini micro pulley with an aluminium carabiner and a yogurt pot. And we're tying a little tail to it so we can walk to the top and launch someone down. Have you got a teddy or toy to put in it, Emily? Yes. Okay. Teddy going in. Okay, we're going for our first tester. Good luck. Up the hill you go. Look at that. The zip line is taking it, but it's stalled a bit. Moving slowly. Meow, you made it. Good <laughs> job. Let's see if we can add some string to see if we could make the zip line pull back to the start. How do we do that? Mm, good think? question. Let's see, how have you decided to pull the elevator bucket back up to the top. You've tied your red string to the edge of the tub, I see. Very cool. So where might you tie yours at home, everybody? Would you tie it to the pulley, to the carabiner, to the tub, to the teddy itself? Okay, let's see what you got, Lucy. Oh, brilliant. And to get the bucket all the way down, Lucy's pushing the string up to make it a bit steeper. Good solution. We've come up against a problem. If the zipline tub isn't going down fast enough or even gets stalled completely, what can we add in our tub to make it go faster? What might you use, girls? Mm, maybe some rocks. Some rocks, says Emily. Good, I haven't got any rocks near me, but I've got some spare carabiners. Can we add that to... The, uh, to the bunny. Okay, heave. I think it's a pig. We've now, a pig, excuse me. And now we've, Emily's added a long string, so she's hoping to wait at the start. She's retracted the zip line all the way to the top. Okay, let's see if it goes. And it seems to be stalling still. Disappointing. What can we do, girls, to make it go down better? Put more, more things. Either more weight. What about the angle? Is it steep enough? To bring our zipline bucket back to the top, we've added another element. So we've put an anchor around the tree using, do you recognize the knot? Yes, good. It's an overhand knot again on the double. And we've added a carabiner and a little pulley and that now goes to Lucy's tub. Okay, Lucy, hoist away. Look at that, brilliant. And will it also release? We've also made the zip line higher, so we're hoping it'll zip down. Oh, it's trying. Well done, Lucy. Yeah, slowly but surely. Oh, it's off. Look at this. We're going to tie this piece of blue string around the tree to use as an anchor. One full turn around the tree, and this time we're going to use a reef knot. Do you remember the rhyme? Right over left, tuck it under, pull. Left over right, tuck it under, pull and it makes that really pretty interlocking horseshoe shape. 
And that's now a nice easy knot that will do for us. And I've got just enough reach, enough stretch to tuck my carabiner through here for an anchor. Meanwhile, I need to tie another anchor around this tree. So I'm going to pass my yellow string around. We'll do the reef knot again. Right over left, tuck it under. Pull and left over right and tuck that under and through and pull. And there's our interlocking horseshoes again. Really pretty knot. Let's turn it around. Anchor ready. So we're in the drizzle and we're outside and I'm fine. Hope you are too, whatever the weather is. Here's a different type of pulley system. It's returnable and we've made an anchor at one side of the tree and the string goes around the carabiner and back. So we've made a closed loop. And at each end, we've got a little knot. Emily, would you like to attach your carabiner to one of the knots? Amazing. And now, standing at this end, uh, do you want to put, uh, who's this? Is this Pink Pig? Pink Pig. Okay, Pink Pig, in you go, and see if you can pass Pink Pig all the way to the far end to Lucy's side. Let's give Pink Pig some special uh, treats or ointment or a treat. And then come on back, Pink Pig. Excellent. We have a returnable system. How exciting. What spaces and gaps can you think of to send your Pink Pig across the gap, across the Great Divide? Is it between banisters on a stairs with a great big gap over it? Um, is it just between two trees? Is it outside? Is it from a window to somewhere else? Play it safe, folks. Fantastic. Let's play some more. Let's make a bigger one. What can you use to zip line on your piece of string? If you haven't got a fancy pulley like me here, what else can you use at home and around the home? If you've got any mini carabiners, Perhaps that will work just by itself. It does slide quite well. In which case, what is metal or plastic? And you could fold over your piece of string okay. and perhaps use a peg. Mm, try it out. I'd like to hear of experiments, what works and what doesn't work. Remember, failure is a part of success, folks. Get practicing. Don't feel bad if it doesn't work first time. Try and try again. Same kit and the girls have set up two travelator zip lines in the house now. Yes. So what if we got a piece of string around a table leg? Yes. Yes. A clip to a pulley, but it could just be a metal loop. And it goes up oh, to sorry, I'm not supposed top to of the chair. Up. See? With the same setup, and that's one piece of orange string Mog? tied together. Mog. Where's Mog gone? Mog. The girls are now playing with their setup. Mog, right there. I found Pink Pig. Pink Pig is not in the and game. And then here's Little One, the bunny, on a big long zip line, which isn't steep enough to purely zip. So Lucy has had some help setting up a system where we can lift the bucket all the way to the top and return it. So this is a scaled down version of a real Tyrolean crossing. How excited. 